Hey everyone, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. I didn't think that I was going to be coming to you this afternoon. I knew I had an order that was supposed to be on its way, but I wasn't really sure. The vendor's having trouble with their system, so I didn't have a tracking number, and so I wasn't sure if it had shipped or hadn't shipped, and usually FedEx comes early in the morning, usually sometimes even before 10 o'clock, but not always. Today they showed up at 3 o'clock and they had a package for me, so here I am. I thought I would show you what I got. Not a lot of things, but some fun things in there. First of all, I got in some more of the Tombow dual brush markers. Um, we are going to be using these in some watercolor classes, and these are really nice brush markers. And some of you saw um, some of the things that I posted yesterday. I was doing a little art therapy for myself and playing around with some art impression stamps and some different techniques and part of that um, was trying out some of the Tombow brush markers and so I got in more colors and I'll just mention that one week from tomorrow um, on Saturday I guess it will be Saturday the 18th is our free monthly demo and we're going to be doing some fun watercolor techniques with art impression stamps so I will be showing you um, how I did these and how to use the markers among other things and also I think since we got some penny black brush stroke florals in we'll also throw in a little demo on how to do watercolor techniques with the penny black brush stroke floral stamps as well um, something else I got in I got in just one color of the zig clean color real brush markers I have more of those on the way this one is one of the newer colors it's medium beige and it's a really nice flush tone um, and you actually can use your zig markers to do this technique and that's one of the things I'll be exploring in the demo is showing you some different pigments that you can use um, so that you can make use of things that you already have Speaking of watercolors, I was very excited. I didn't get as many as I wanted, but I did get some of the new Waffle Flower Water Media Mats. And this is a new uh, mat, and you may be thinking, haven't we had enough mats already? But this one really does have its own purpose. This is made out of silicone, and it has like little suction feet on the back, so it stays on your surface and doesn't move around. Um, it's easy to clean, it's waterproof, it's heat resistant. It actually has a recessed area here in the middle for you to work. It's sized at 9 by 12, so if you want to work as big as that, you have an area to put that in there. It actually has the little mixing wells over here on the side, so if you want to mix your paints or your inks over there, you can do it, and it's great if you are going to be doing water coloring. I'm always amazed um, at um, all the details that Waffle Flower thinks of. A lot of you this probably won't be important to, but they actually have markings or guides on here for framing videos and different square positions for popular social media sharing so that you can see like if you want to take a photo of something and share it on Instagram you can see exactly um, what portion of that you're going to get in there so anyhow don't have a lot of these hopefully we'll get some more in although it looks like it may be a little while so don't have too many of those to spare a um, couple odds and ends we got back in stock we got back in the Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew these are perfect for doing perfectly clear drops. They're great. They can make great, great raindrops or accents. Perfect um, on your florals. Also got in a reinker um, for the Distress Oxides in Mermaid Lagoon. We got in two new masks from Carabelle. So any of you that like using masks or stencils or like doing mixed media. These are both Indian mandalas. This is the mini Indian mandala. You get two different mandalas in the pack. They're about three inches in diameter. And then there is also the large Indian man mandala that has just a single one in there. And that's actually a little bit different pattern than the other two, so it's not repeating the ones that are in the mini. So those are lots of fun. The last thing that I got in is something that Mana brought to my attention and she wanted me to get in for us to try and it's a product from Graphics and it's their Artist Tack Dry Adhesive. 
And what this is, is this comes in a sheet, this particular one is 8.5 by 11, and it has a liner on both sides, and I'm not sure if one-handed, if I can find the side that I've peeled up. Yeah, there I've peeled up that side. So here, what you do when you want to use it is you peel up the liner, and I don't know if I can get it to where you can see. There are little teeny tiny dots of adhesive on here, and what you can do is you can press whatever you want to adhere onto here, and it will transfer all those adhesive dots onto the back of it, and then you can use it on your project. And the timing of this arriving was perfect because I was making this card for the newsletter for one of our spotlight items. So this is a die cut from Tim Holtz. It's the organic die. And you can see how fine and detailed this is. And it's large. It fills up the entire front of an A2 card. And while you certainly could use glue to put this down and um, that's what we use all the time is the PVA glue in our fine line applicator bottles and that will certainly work um, when you're working on something this large and intricate it can be a little bit time consuming so I just took this die after I die cut it and I peeled back my liner and I placed it down on here and then I replaced my liner so I could kind of burnish it to transfer the adhesive and I lifted it up and I placed it on my background and it it works just like a charm I actually still have a lot of adhesive left I mean this is the corner where I pulled it up and there's still a lot of adhesive because there's so much open space on there so I can still go back and I can make use of the adhesive that is left on there so if you're always wondering how to glue those intricate die cuts down you might want to give this a try um, I have this here that's in smaller packs. This is five and a half by nine and you get four sheets and so it's a little bit more economical than the other one. And it calls it something a little bit different, but I did open this packaging jacket and it looks like it is the same thing as the other one is. So you can do that. Um, I only have the one large pack. I will, if you want to try it, um, sell a few sheets of this individually or if you want to um, uh, purchase a whole pack, you can let me know and I can order it for you if you think that's something that you might use a lot. All right, that is all that I have for you right now. Um, I need to go finish up the newsletter and um, then I can go home. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening and weekend and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.